Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe and share to help support the channel. First article of interest for today. Disclosure of the date of the arrival of the Budget Law 2020 to the Iraqi Parliament. Member of the Implementation of the Government Program in Strategic Planning in Parliament, Hassan al Masudi, revealed today, Tuesday, the date of the arrival of the 2020 Budget Law to Parliament, to impose its reading and voting on it. Al Masudi told Baghdad today that the 2020 Budget Law will reach the Iraqi Parliament immediately after the end of the Eid al Fitr holiday noting that drafting and preparing the law is exclusively a task of the cabinet and there is no participation of the parliament but after reaching the parliament there will be a role for the relevant parliamentary committees to give their comments on the law and to amend what they see appropriate he added that if the budget arrives the parliament will hold its sessions in order to read the law and then vote on it despite the existence of the coronavirus epidemic there is a determination to pass the budget quickly when it reaches the parliament. Next article. Hawking calls for the approval of the budget law in accordance with verified resources. The president of the National Wisdom Stream, Mr. Amar al Hakim, discussed with the Minister of Finance Ali Abdul Amir al Awi the financial and economic reality and the treatments required to face the financial crisis that Iraq is suffering from. Al Hakim stressed, According to a statement to his office, that Iraq is a rich country that possesses many capabilities that need to be activated in good management, as it needs real remedies to end the phenomenon of a single source economy, and that this crisis and one of its aspects is an opportunity to escape from the rentier state and diversify the sources of income through attention agriculture, industry, tourism and other resources. He stressed, the necessity of the remedies of the financial crisis being far from pressuring the owners of limited incomes and reclassifying the exchange in proportion to the current stage. Al-Hakim called for, approving the budget law in accordance with the verified resources so that the current year will not be without a budget, making it difficult to obtain the final accounts of the state and work to organize the program budget. Next article. Foreign relations in Parliament rule out Corona caused a second delay in the upcoming negotiations with Washington. The Parliamentary Foreign Relations Committee affirmed, on Wednesday, May 27, 2020, that the negotiating date for the talks between Iraq and the United States of America remains constant in June, and that Prime Minister al Qasemi is expected to be among the negotiating delegation for Iraq. The head of the committee, Dana Mohammed, said in an interview with Baghdad Today, the coronavirus measures will not postpone the negotiations between Iraq and America, which were previously postponed from the fourth month to the sixth month because of corona, stressing that the date so far is fixed because of the importance of the negotiation positive for Iraq in terms of security and economic in general. He pointed out that Washington has defined its negotiating team and certainly the Iraqi government has also started to determine the team authorized to negotiate, and Prime Minister Mustafa al-Qazimi may be involved in it. He pointed out that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the government are concerned with this matter. It is expected that next month, dialogues will be the first of their kind between Iraq and the United States of America, since the latter withdrew from Iraq permanently in 2011, according to what senior Iraqi officials announced recently. Next article. Private firms can boost central bank digital currencies, IMF official says. A senior figure at the International Monetary Fund, IMF, believes a digital currency backed by a central bank would open the door to much greater innovation in retail payments. Tommaso Mancini Griffoli the IMF's deputy division chief in the Monetary and Capital Markets Department, said synthetic CBDCs, digital currencies backed by the liabilities of a central bank, but issued with the aid of a private entity, could provide citizens with a reliable means of payment that simultaneously leverage some of the key competitive advantages of the private sector. A synthetic CBDC as outlined by Mancini Griffoli is pretty much a public-private partnership. 
the idea is a licensed MONE provider stores client funds in a central bank and, in return, receives a central bank liability they can package however they see fit into a publicly tradable stable coin that remains fully backed by central bank reserves. Speaking Tuesday morning on the money movement, Circle CEO Jeremy Alera's new YouTube series, Mancini Griffoli argued the key benefit offered by a synthetic CBDC, compared to a traditional CBDC, namely, where the central bank is responsible for the entire running of a digital currency, was that it made space for innovation. Synthetic CBDCs, focusing on retail payments, enable central banks to promote monetary innovation within the confines of a safe and well-regulated environment, he said. In contrast, the traditional idea of a CBDC, which had pretty much gone out of the door, in Mancini Griffola's opinion, could become very costly and very risky to the central bank, and it may deter innovation. This public-private partnership, of a synthetic BG, is intended to conserve the competitive advantages of the private sector, to interface with clients and innovate, and the comparative advantage of the central bank, to regulate and provide trust, he said. Other central banks have also mooted the possibility of a role for private companies. The Bank of England, BOE, has suggested there could be areas where a private entity would be far better placed to offer its own monetary solution for customers, as opposed to the central bank itself jumping in. Even China, a major critic of the Facebook-backed Libra initiative, has carved out a role for a select group of private entities, the Agricultural Bank of China, say as well as Alibaba and Tencent, to help in the issuance of its own digital yuan to Chinese citizens. But the key aspect of a synthetic CBDC, so far as the IMF sees it, is that it delegates most of the fundamental functions of a CBDC to the private sector. At the IMF Swiss National Bank Conference in May 2019, Tobias Adrian, the IMF's director of the Monetary and Capital Markets Department, Mancini Griffola's boss, said a notable advantage of a synthetic CBDC was it allowed the central bank to focus only on areas where it offers tangible value, namely, regulatory oversight and settlement. By offering liabilities wholesale, all other functions at which the private sector traditionally excels such as customer management, client screening, even the tech design of the CBDC itself, can effectively be outsourced, Adrian added. In fact, there would be nothing to stop, under the IMF's interpretation, multiple private companies all issuing digital currencies that are all backed by the same central bank liabilities, and effectively compete with one another. Still, there remain some unanswered questions. Chief among them is what the relationship between the public and private sector will ultimately look like. As Mancini Griffoli highlighted, would a central bank ensure private entities undertake proper due diligence on clients, and would they provide input on what the tech design of the token itself would look like? It remains hazy on, where do you draw the line of what the public sector does and what the private sector does, he said. Like subscribe and share to help support the channel. Don't forget to save the link to my channel on the library platform and check out the Denarian blog. Facebook and Twitter as I post important daily updates on these platforms throughout the day as well. The links to these and other invaluable sites are in the description box below. Knowledge is power. Using that knowledge is powerful. Over and out for now, the Denarian.